This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We're now sitting in the Nissan Aria. This is the 87 kilowatt hour Evolve front wheel drive. And in this video, I'm going to show you the charging curve of this car, plus also the 63 kilowatt hour tested recently. So let's just roll the tape. You see that the uh, Aria is ramping up quite quick compared to the C4, it just goes dog slow. Um, that's Volvo, by the way. And then we also include ID5. Uh, it started a little bit below 10%. That's why it's pumping in 175 kilowatt now. Wow. It's actually getting quite big lead. I include the small battery audio which is a little bit un, uh, unfair compared to the other ones that are a lot bigger but still um, I'm still wondering what's going on with the C40. The C40 uh, pumps in 150 kilowatt but it's barely getting any lead. I think it was mainly because it was uh, ramping up so slow but then the ID5 still goes like a boss. Look at that. It has a nice lead. A small audio of course is in the actually in the lead. No no actually it's second place but it has a smaller battery and you see that now it's a small audio is starting to throttle a little bit. It was actually getting 115 kilowatt neck on neck with a big battery but eventually it had to throttle down so so that's a small disadvantage but of course you have to pay less for the small battery area and then uh, ID5 now started throttling a little bit more okay but it almost hit 40% so it naturally it throttles more but you see that uh, the ID5 had a nice um, um, kind of big jolt in the beginning but then it drops here there is another ID5 battery the, the non GTX the river drive that has a flat charging curve 135 kilowatt max but unfortunately I haven't been able to test it okay back to big area wow big area is still taking 115 kilowatt flat like a fat e-tron really this is like poor man's fat e-tron <laughs> huh she said i 115 kilowatts still dead even okay the, the small area started trotting naturally because it hits 50 percent c40 is starting to throttle more now wow it had a nice start but then it also kind of starting run, uh, running out of oomph what about the id5 oh no id5 is below 90 kilowatt okay it hit 50 percent but aria a big aria behind is starting to catch up is that oh i'm gonna get you now i'm still uh, big aria even at 52 percent still takes 114 kilowatt nice and flat wow think about this uh, leaf used to suck back in the days it replicated and makes so much fun of replicating leaf but now nissan is back in the game they are back in the lead remember that what nissan uh, remember what leaf means it means leading environmentally friendly family car yes that's leaf this is leading man wait are they leading are oh, they no 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 but not yet but uh, you can see that the big area is about to catch up with the id5 it goes way faster 100 kilowatt at 63 percent what the heck man look at the id5 it's falling apart now 68 kilowatt only and then the c40 okay, it's still decent power but the c40 is kind of behind the other guys and then the, the small area still very impressive speed for a small battery we should actually uh, compare the small area against the the volvo or polestar small battery also i think aria would also be in a pretty good position there because look, look at this we are almost at 80 percent now on the small aria and it can still take around 60 kilowatt huh that is very impressive man okay back to the id5 oh 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 oh, oh, oh. the id5 had a nice uh, big jolt in the beginning but now you can start to see that it start going slower uh, at 75 percent we only have 60 kilowatt look at small aria at uh, 82 kilowatts, still taking around 60 kilowatts. No, uh, well, uh, sorry, I mix up ki kilowatt and percentage. Everything goes so fast now. But look, okay, let's take a look at the big Aria again. At 80%, man, the big Aria takes 81 kilowatt. Yes, why not? We have Japanese technology here. Finally, we have some active liquid cooling. Uh, what about the C4? Oh, the C40 is falling behind. Oh, 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 the C40. Oh, no, look at that. Oh, what the heck, man? Huh? The big battery C40 at 76 percent is charging slower than the small aria at 76 percent wow and the id5 now is just falling more and more behind now it's starting slower and slower but this the big aria is like uh-uh uh-uh no problem okay by the way the the small aria hit 90 percent so okay uh, but it's kind of unfair because it's a smaller battery but i have to include it here because this is an aria charging video but okay a big aria is about to hit 90 percent come on there 66 kilowatt at 90 percent wow i think uh, all these years i've been making so much fun of nissan and they've been like okay okay we're gonna show them who's the boss here yes look at that charging speed leaf owners be like oh i wish i would get that kind of speed even at 10 percent <laughs> wow okay so uh, aria takes the, uh, the the aria's one and then id5 came on the third place and then why why not we just go to nine you see them by the time a small aria hit 99% then the big aria and the sorry the id5 hit 90% that's how fast the aria was charging 
Why, why not? Let's uh, big idea. Let's also go for uh, 99 percent. I think I stopped at 99 because then it started going slow. I didn't bother going to 100 percent. But still, 40 kilowatt at 98 percent. How big is your buffer? <laughs> no, then, okay, now now it goes to 23 kilowatt. And then um, yeah, I also went to 90 percent, uh, 99 percent on the ID5. But you see that the C40 now, uh, the Volvo. Okay, it, it's kind of fast, but it really can't deal with the uh, Germans, right? The Germans are still faster, and even now. There is a new kid in town, which is the Aria, the Nissan. <laughs> oh no, C40 just completely uh, shatters now. 14 kilowatt. Oh, come on, come on. You have to get the, the last bit to 90%. Come on, boy. Come on, don't give up now. Oh, oh no. 14 kilowatt. Even Aria at 99% kil uh, was charging faster. Wow. Really? Okay, well, uh, come on, come on. We're almost done now. And then, wait, is ID5 going to? hit 99% or 100% by the time uh, Volvo hits uh, 90% <sighs> Ooh. There, yeah, kind of okay. There, almost an after almost one hour of charging, we finished. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna show you guys the charging curves. So the green line here is the ID5 GTX. Yeah, you see it has a nice jolt here in the beginning, but then it falls. You know, this is almost like a Tesla charging curve. And, and then this yellow line here, that's the Volvo. It has some weird, yeah, I don't know what's up with that one. And then also you see here the Volvo. Okay, past 60% of the Volvo actually starts going kind of slow. And then just look at the red line here. This is the big area. Wow, look at that nice and flat charting curve. Okay, they didn't want to go the fat e-tron route, which is to 90%, but still, uh, even when it starts throttling, it throttles very gently compared to, well, actually, now, maybe actually it's similar to the other ones, but it's just that it has a late throttle and then it just keeps it like it doesn't just fall apart, right? And then the small area here, yeah, for you guys who can see the small area, you see that actually up until around 25%, then they are equally fast, huh? That's very nice. And then it goes slower naturally because it's a smaller battery. And then I have also this weird one here, the Nissan Aria 63 kilo is a night. This one happened during 1000 kilometer challenge. Oh, spoiler alert, uh, which is that. Um, for some reason, I did not get the, the good speed. I was like, oh, sheesh, you know, how the heck am I going to compensate for this? I kept getting the 90 kilowatt curve. However, it turns out that for many, many times during the challenge, I had to charge past, uh, well, at least two times. I had to charge to 85%. And this weird curve has a flat 90 kilowatt all the way until 84%. And then I haven't recorded more data here, but then it started dropping. Uh, I'm not sure how it drops, but I, it turns out that this kind of 90 kilowatt uh, wave here actually is faster to 90 percent than the uh, the other curve yeah or at least another estimated to, to 85 percent yeah to 85 percent the the 90 curve is actually two minutes faster than the red curve here <laughs> it sounds crazy, right? But yeah, so it means that actually during 1000 kilometer challenge, uh, there was no problem using the 90 kilowatt uh, curve. Yes, now you guys seen it. Leaf, oh, sorry, not leaf. the fat leaf, yeah, the fat leaf Aria. Huh? It kicks ass for the Lord. What do you guys think about the charging curve? So it's actually, yeah, it, you know, Aria came slow, came late, but it came with style and is now beating the competition or matching it at least. Huh? Huh? Okay, I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.